ready to see some cool costumes. So we're going to start with the guys coming down this side over here, which we're going to, well, it sounds like we only got a couple of kids. I'm eating fur while I talk, this is fun. <laughs> it's what I get. So, we have two kids. The first one up is the nun, Kenley. If I said the name wrong, sorry, that's what happens. I'm not grammatically correct. I'm grammatically incorrect. I am the Grinch. I'm a little green. Are we going to come this way? Come on. Hey, what are we doing over on the wall? Everybody back there is dead. See, they don't hear me. They're going to come up on stage right here. They're going to take and jump around in the center here if they want to like this. They're going to do this. They're going to do whatever they want. They're going to see the judges and hopefully not throw up or fall down. And then they're going to go off the other side right down the wall. Sound good? Mr. Grinch, you dropped the paper. That's okay. I can get it. I might not. I'm getting that old. Come on right to the center here, sweetie. Make sure everybody sees you. Make sure the judges see you behind you. And then you got to go right down the other side. Right over to Mr. Jim over there with that funky looking clown on his shirt. He's going to make sure you get where you belong over there. I'm not sure who that clown is. Was our clown supposed to be here today? No. Nah. You. Hey, aren't you supposed to take these from me? So I didn't do one thing. Should I tell you who these folks are behind me? Woo! Let's do the other kid and then I'll tell you who they all are. So the other Caleb we have, we have the other kid we have is Caleb. Caleb as Ghost Jason. Jason, do you love your mother? If not, you're in trouble. Careful with the stairs, bud. You get them? Head right up over towards the front. Are you creepy looking? Holy moly. Hey, I think they got an ointment for that. It'll help. You just rub it on it, it'll go away. The hot glue. Hot glue does wonders. It gives you a nice facial. <laughs> takes the layer off. So, behind me here, my judges, what do you want to do? What are you doing? Don't cause trouble. I'll cause trouble. I probably already have. Ah! I didn't do it. So first, anybody come to the Chicago show before? Yeah. A lot of you, right? A lot of you come to this show. So you probably recognize this young lady here. This is Juniper. Juniper's won the costume contest. Was dressed up as that ugly ice cream man clown. I don't know why. But then she comes and she helps host the costume contest. Because she doesn't do, she does a little bit of costume stuff. She's got creepy eyes. I know. This weekend you're sort of like curmudgeon -y. You're like me. Ah. What are you, some kind of wild animal or something? <laughs> See, she doesn't even flinch at me. It's a, that's what she lives at home with. <laughs> oh. Ha ha. I'm going to say it's probably you. You shouldn't talk about me like that. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> that one with the ball cap on. <laughs> so, next up, we have local Chicago horror host. Many of other things you can go online and read up about him. Sam Gregula. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Next, next to him, one of my sponsors for a lot of my shows, not vending at this show this weekend, Eric Littlefield of Gorgeous Girls. All those little cruisy things I was throwing out, those are from Eric. And those two hearts that got thrown out, those are from Eric too. Those are good stress relievers. I know, I've used them today. Next we have, this guy I talk about too much, because I'm around him too much, but that's a good thing, because he's my mentor for one. Uh, very talented artist. In the far back corner over here, he does a lot of air, everything he does is airbrush. He's a fellow tattoo artist when he doesn't do that, which isn't often. Um, a lot of really cool artwork for my sponsors, Patrick Rasmussen. And last but not least, with Boney, 
Tony the Puppet Dog. John Wayne. John Wayne is also one of my sponsors. He's one of my fellow convention goers. Writes some awesome books. Does some awesome music. A little bit of everything, right? Artist? He does it. Make sure you check out the couple that are here. Eric is not. If you come to another Days of the Dead, look for Eric. Because he's usually vending. But the other two are here this weekend. So if you're here tomorrow, make sure you go check them out and talk to them. Which I have something from Patrick that I'll be giving out that you need to go see him anyways if you get one. Okay? Um, and the other thing is the adult winner, whoever that may be, has to go see John Wayne tomorrow to get a book from him. With that being said, let's start the adults. Sound good? Sound good? First up, we have Adam Hagen, Popsy the Clown. And like I said, if I mess up your name, sorry. <laughs> Poopsie. Okay, poop butt. Next up, we have Katie Rodriguez's Zombie Slayer. Next up, we have Bradley Cooker as Michael Myers. Got a little something on the side of your face here. I can't help it. When I see things like that, I work with a medical profession away from here. You got to put an ointment on it. You got to save things. The skin's important. I could, I could put you in contact with Wild Bill. is Michael Myers. I think Michael Myers is here a lot today. I like it better when there's lots of Jasons because I always like to ask them if they love their mother. I guess with Michael I could ask them if they love their sister. That sounds wrong though. Next up, I'm not going to say the last name because I will mess it up, Caesar. Or Cesar. Is Zombie Captain America. I like Captain America like this a lot better. Next up, we have Eric Sinks is Sally. <laughs> Next is Alec Medina as Leatherface. He needs a little haircut. Or styling. <laughs> There's one more thing to give you a little, little bit more enthusiasm. Some of these folks work on their costumes a long time. Make sure that you stop them. Get pictures with them if you see them in the hallways. Even if you're sitting at a vendor table. Vendors do. But anybody, stop them, take pictures with them. They appreciate it. They spend a lot of time on making these costumes. I know that's how I got started in this, and I still don't stop. Ask my wife. <laughs> it's stupidity. Next, I have Corey Ashbury. 
as leather base. Next up, we have Mariah Brazil as the Spirit. <laughs> Next up, we have Brandon White as Hellboy. Stop a little bit, maybe they want to talk to you. For some reason I sounded like I was from Jersey there for a minute. That happens. Awesome. I didn't hear anything. I, I don't know. I, I hot glued myself into this thing today, so. Are you guys ready? No. I didn't think so. John Wayne, are you ready? Do you have anything to say about the way I judge? Or me overturning things? No, no, not at all. There was, somebody got robbed at one point and that's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. There's a hashtag. There's a hashtag. He says he can't say it anymore. Next up we have, looks like Madonna Elizabeth. If I'm wrong, sorry. Born from the Hex Girls. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we got the Bimbo Slashers. Ghostface Michael Myers and Ashley J. Williams. This is original, I like this. <laughs> All I wanna know, did you girls come up with this on your own? Did you see it somewhere? Nice. I'm talking about what stuff that people do right there like that. It, the next one here sort of threw, for, threw me for a loop earlier when I saw this next one in the hallway. Glenn Reyes and Jason Xavier is Beetlejuice. Make sure you talk to the judges. Don't just run away. You guys like free stuff? Yeah. But really, is anything in life for free anymore? No. no. I make you earn it. <laughs> Ever heard of stupid human tricks? Yeah. Start thinking about it. If you have something you can do, we might might give you something. Next up, we have Evan McGuire as Death Eater. Up. We have Big Al and Little Al. Weird. Y'all look hungry. Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Get yourself a bag and beat it. Have a banana, have a whole bunch. It does 
doesn't matter what you had for lunch, just eat it. Next up, Mary Beecher is Patrick Bateman. See well, so next up we have Gator Cash is Moon Delorean. Next up, Aurora Weber is Percival, the accused knight. <laughs> Looks like Percival's having a rough day. Next up, we have Jim Moran as Fate. Well, it's, it's got scribbled out, so I just was going to go face, but Leatherface. <laughs> face Leather. <laughs> Been a little wild there. <laughs> Next, we have Cruz Aguirre as Pyramid Head. Say it wrong or right? <laughs> Volcaria Rose is Victoria Beetlejuice. I was corrected on how to say her name because I just throw it out there and don't even really pay attention. So. Anything to do with something gory? <laughs> Gorgeous girls? <laughs> he's got a little hump on his back there. I don't know what he's been doing, but. Next up. Uh, how about Joseph Loom? The Grabber. I don't know if I would take her because she might win. 
I'm actually pretty sure she probably would. <laughs> Look at that attitude. <laughs> Are you like 16 yet or what? <laughs> oh boy, you two are in trouble. Uh uh, she's gonna end up like her mama. Dad, you're in trouble. Jonathan Dragovan, Michael Myers 78. He's a big boy. He could have been the shadow. Back then, who knows? Everybody played Michael Myers on set. Next up, Chris Wilson is Michael Myers 2018. everybody question when we're done why they're figuring out who the winners are so somebody can explain it to me really well and it has to do with that character I see three shadows and I only have two papers in my hand so we'll figure out what's going on here in a minute next I had Missy Hagen is Samara Morgan the ring where's my helpers at Ingrid. For some reason, I'm thinking I probably know this person. Sam Anderson is Freddie White Claw. <laughs> But not least, Melissa Arietti. Arietta? <laughs> Sven Gulli. Hey, don't let this. What are you doing? What are you, what are you pulling at things for? Hey, no, 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 no. Okay, so this is the part where my judges get to figure out who the winners are. I know, that's what happens all the time. Did she hit you in the face? Yes! I missed it, though. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> so, during this time, does anybody have any stupid human tricks they like to do? It can't be something simple like flipping your eye eyelids in and out or something like that. I want, I want something interesting. Yeah, I, I got I, turned I, down. I want something really face. interesting. Not hypermobile joints. I work in therapy, so I know all about those. Those aren't, see, it doesn't look like I find anybody. Somebody was pointing back here earlier. That's all I saw with a finger going. But I still don't, no, nope, nothing. No, no stupid human trick? He sings. That's not a stupid human trick, though. That's, that's a good thing. So, we'll do kids first. Yeah. We only had two. So, unfortunately, there's only one winner. I know, that always stinks, but that's the way things go. But it's also a good way to teach things in life, I guess. So, and, you know, hey, it's not a mean way, it's just what happens. If we think it's mean, I guess I'm not the right host for it. And I've been doing this a long time. I want to say her name right, but I didn't say her name right the first time. I know I didn't. Yeah, she got you there. Did I? Yeah. 
I'm going to say it wrong this time, though, probably. Can we? Yeah. Kenya is the nun. It is our winner for the kids. And our assault winner is Sam Anderson, Brady Whiteclaw. Come on up to the stage. Stick around if you want to get a picture with everybody up front. John Wayne, thank you, sir. I see you going. Good deal, brother. Um, I do have some things to give away for free yet, but we want to get everybody their prizes, their prize bags. Come right up front here, young lady. You can go right in the center of the stadium there. for coming. I do have a couple things if they want to come to the front that I'm going to give away for free yet. They're actually stuff from Mr. Patrick Rasmussen. So the thing is, you can go right to the vendor room with it. You can also uh, take it in there and he'll either replace the one that you have if you don't like it and give you a new one or give you two new ones, whatever you have, you know. And I'll take care of you. Depends on my wife. Or... I, I know, you like to give the house away. Thank you everybody for coming. Thank you YouTube for participating. All my participants on the wall down the side there, thank you for your costumes and your time working on your costumes. We enjoy having you. Everybody be safe tonight because it will get crazy. Hi, my name's Pippa Darling Cosplay and I'm here with... Kenley. Did you take first place? And what are you cosplaying today? I was cosplaying the nun. And why did you choose to cosplay the nun? Because I really like it and she... I met her. And she told me to dress up as the nun if you can. So I did. I love it. Well, congratulations on your win. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pip Darling Cosplay, and I'm here with the Days of the Dead Cosplay winners. What's your name? Sean Anderson. Hi, Sean. And what are you cosplaying as today? I'm uh, Freddie Whiteclaw. And how did you come up with the idea for this? Um, I'm, I'm an older cosplayer, so uh, I like stuff from the 80s. So I always try to mash it up. So uh, White Claw is one of my favorite drinks. So I wanted to do it with uh, Freddy Krueger. So I thought, why not try to do a Freddy Krueger White Claw monster? And tell us, how did you go about trying to put all this together? Because this is pretty elaborate. Yeah, the hardest part is definitely uh, the paper mache. Um, this is like a chemical drum, um, but the hands and the head are paper mache. It takes uh, quite a long time to uh, add on multiple layers, it's like 20 layers, it takes about you know two hours to dry each layer, so it probably takes me around three months to make it, but I, I love it. You know, I, I've been coming to Days of the Dead now for seven years. Uh, it's probably my favorite convention. You know, I, w I was back when it was in Schaumburg, it's in Rosemont, it's a, it's a great convention. Oh, very cool. So is this your first time winning the cosplay contest? Uh, I've entered a couple times, um, you know, sometimes I do good, sometimes I don't. It's, it's a mix, but it's, you know, again, I, I love it here. A lot of great cosplayers here. It's all Halloween edition, so it, it's, it's a fun time. Well, thank you so much. So thank you. I'm Pippa Darling Cosplay, and this has been Tribe 3 Productions. Thank you.